Is your Mac slowing down, websites acting weird, or ads following you everywhere? Your browser might be packed with cookies tracking your every move. In this video, I'll show you the fastest, easiest ways to clear cookies on your Mac, methods you probably didn't know about. Stick around, because one trick at the end might just transform your browsing experience. Let's dive in. First things first, what are cookies? They're small files websites save on your Mac to remember your preferences, logins, or even track your activity. Sounds convenient, right? Well, not always. Over time, these cookies pile up, eating into your storage, slowing down your browser, and sometimes even risking your privacy. That's why clearing them periodically is so important. Now let's look at how to do it. Let's start with Safari, Apple's default browser. Here's what you do. Open Safari and click on Safari in the top left corner. Select Preferences. Then, go to the Privacy tab. You'll see a button that says Manage Website Data. Click on that. Now, here's where the magic happens. You can either clear cookies for specific websites or hit Remove All to clear everything at once. One tip. If you often visit sites that require logins, clearing all cookies will sign you out. So, make sure to save any passwords first. Here's a question for you. Did you know clearing Safari cookies could also free up storage on your Mac? Let me know in the comments. Next up, Google Chrome. Here's how you do it. Open Chrome and click the three dots in the top right corner. Go to Settings, then scroll down to Privacy and Security. Select Delete Browsing Data, and a pop-up will appear. Make sure the checkbox for cookies and other site data is ticked. You can choose the time range, last hour, last week, or all time. Finally, click Delete Data. Here's the thing, clearing cookies on Chrome doesn't just protect your privacy. It can also fix common browser glitches like slow-loading websites or unresponsive tabs. Try it and let me know if it works for you. Alright Firefox users, here's your method. Open Firefox and click the three horizontal lines in the top right corner. Go to Settings, then click on Privacy and Security. Scroll down to Cookies and Site Data, and click Clear Data. Just like Chrome, you'll see options for what to clear. Tick the box for Cookies and click Clear. And there you have it. Your Firefox browser is now as clean as new. Now for the method most people overlook, using your Mac's built-in tools. Open Finder and go to the Go menu. Select Go to Folder and type this. In the Caches folder, look for folders related to your browsers, like Safari, Chrome, or Firefox. Delete the folders labeled Cookies. This method gives you full control but comes with a warning. Be careful not to delete files you're unsure about. Clearing cookies is great, but wouldn't it be better if you didn't have to do it so often? Here's how to minimize cookie buildup. In Safari, go to Preferences. Advanced and Enable Block All Cookies. In Chrome, go to Settings. Privacy and Security. Third-Party Cookies. And choose Block Third-Party Cookies. In Firefox, switch to Strict Privacy Mode under Privacy and Security. Making these small changes can save you a ton of time in the long run. 
If you don't want to deal with manual clearing, there are apps designed to manage cookies for you. Tools like Clean My Mac X or C Cleaner can automate the process and even alert you when cookies are piling up. It's like having a personal assistant for your Mac. These apps aren't free, but if you value convenience, they're worth considering. And there you have it. Multiple ways to clear cookies on your Mac. Whether you prefer manual methods or automated tools, the choice is yours. Now here's my challenge for you. Try one of these methods right now and tell me how it works for you. Did it speed things up? Fix any issues? Share your experience in the comments below. Also, if you know someone whose Mac could use a little cleanup, send this video their way. You could be the reason their browser stops lagging. See you in the next video.